level in the NBA that he had because he dominated college basketball. I just think injuries just kind of derailed his pro career. The tragedy is that Ralph Sampson had knee problems. I'll never forget the night that um, he, he wrenched his knee. They had used some kind of solvent on the floor at the summit in Houston, and uh, this solvent was a oil-based solvent, and he hit one of those spots, and he twisted his knee towards meniscus. And Ralph was just never the same after that. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. I was a GM in Chicago when we drafted Michael. Uh, we were third. Portland passed on Michael because they had Clyde Drexler and they had Jim Paxson. Paxson was an all-star. Uh, Drexler was certainly a coming all-star. And they felt they did not need a wing, so they didn't take Michael because of that. I knew Elijah on would be one, Sam Bowie would be two, and Michael Jordan would be sitting there for us. We were happy that Portland had two all-star, two guards, and Drexler, uh, who was a, a really tremendous, tremendous player, and Jim Paxson. So we were in pretty good shape getting Michael. Drafting Michael Jordan would prove the greatest personnel move in Bulls history. But the team nearly had the opportunity to trade away the foundation for six eventual titles before he ever arrived. In his book, Tip Off, How the 1984 Draft Changed Basketball Forever, Philip Bondi tells the story of a potential deal that would have changed the course of NBA history. It was a 